alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. Who do I, I pick? Sympathy, and I don't need charity. Gotta make a key choice now. Hmm. Green's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles. Let's get Crane and take his head Crane's off. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Hall. Room 1902. Someone tells me he's not going to be home. Said Crane lives in 1903. Hall? Well, that door is open. Why is the door open? He left in a hurry. Forgot to close it, of course. Crane? As if he's gonna be home. He knows you're looking for him, you stupid idiot. Oh, but he got one hour and 55 minutes left. A statue of himself, the arrogant bastard. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. His witch lover. Cause I don't want to bite now, no, don't, don't want to again. Same brand we found in the open arms. Math, science, history. Boring. I had to guess. This shit didn't work. <laughs> I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Huh? What an arrogant fucker. This hasn't been used in years. Investigate. I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. Oh, yes. There's a message. Crane. Huh? This guy was a filthy pervert. Degenerate. Hmm. Couldn't get laid by women without a choice, so we had to pay for it. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. Huh? What's going on here? I'll take that money. I'm gonna need that. I'm getting rich off this investigation. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Huh? Hey? I'm watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. You don't love anyone! The key, the magic key, no less. Useful. The headless horseman who he managed to pwn at one point shows how Johnny Depp was miscast in that role. Turns out Ichabod Crane's a degenerate old man who's crap with women. That's the real Ichabod Crane, not the movie version. Smash this shit. Really? The arrogance of it all. Piecing it together. Beep, piecing it together. Ow! Okay. 
Okay, well, there's gotta be an easier way. You're a wolf, you can get in there with the key, no less. The magic key opens any door. What the? You're going, no, oh, not you. Jack. Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. Push him off the building. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. You know, I've always wondered, do you get that wet dog smell when it rains? Like, do you have to wear a poncho? God, you're Explain annoying yourself. Now! Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Push him off the balcony. Hey! Get him! <laughs> Fuck okay. you! You're gonna learn the hard you got way. Me. Just take it easy. No. Don't make a big deal out of this. I'd like to keep all my teeth. Well, enjoy this! This is really fucking necessary. You better remember that, Jack. Start talking, Jack. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I yeah. figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I'll give I you a parting gift. Sleep, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe you must have. something about a ring. What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? I'm gonna take your head off. I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. So don't, you know, hit me again. You asked for oh. my arm. I'm getting old. <clears throat> Been hitting so many people, I've pulled my arm out of my socket. You know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? I'm tired of you. Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? In a way. I mean, what's the point? What are you looking for? I'm trying to find Crane's witch. He's supposed to be heading there. Crane's witch? Is that why he took off? Who the fuck cares about any of that? I mean, don't you think, oh, I don't know, solving these murders should be your top priority? I am, you because, fuck up. Let me tell you, people haven't forgotten about those at all. It's all anyone ever talks about. They want to know what's going on, and why it's taking so fucking long to figure it out. Crane's definitely involved in all of this. I just need to track him down. Then I'll know more. Involved? How do you mean? What your business? That's all I'm going to tell you. Sure. Fuck you. Well... Looks like you've got it covered. I do. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Wasn't with you, and I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. Hmm. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Spit it out, Alec Baldwin. Go on. I'm listening. If you're looking for Crane's witch, well, I just happen to know who she is. If you're interested, information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Interesting. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on, what do you say? Yeah, how about this? Oh, this is not a negotiation, Jack. This isn't a fucking boxing match either. It is. I enjoy hitting you. How about this? I'll tell you what I know. Then you can reconsider my offer. Hmm? Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what kind of a deal he's made with her, but from what I hear, he's in pretty regular contact. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Or else... Scout's on her, Sheriff. Or I'll do this again. Punch. Uh, the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You've got to be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Interesting. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, uh, I think you've got plenty to keep you busy. 
So, I'll, uh... Well, <sighs> you'll be going... It was just lovely running into you, baby. Never darken my door again. Oh, come on. What have you been nicking? The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Shut up, you muppet. You want another taste of fist? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You're lying to me, so help me. Give them to me. What? You know what. Hand them over. The magic devices. Pick me? Oh, not snow, please. Are you still here? We're in here, snow. We? Who else is... Hall? Huh? What's he doing here? I don't know. Evening, Miss White? Good evening. What's going on? Our friend Jack was caught stealing. Oh, come on! Is that right? But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. We'll show him. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? Who knows? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Take his head off. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. No, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third-degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> huh? Excuse me. Oh. Who are you talking to, Froghead? Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. Fly, huh? What the hell happened? I'll have it cleaned up soon. I'm, I'm sorry. Should be. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? You couldn't know. I wouldn't let him in. Shit. Damn it. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. I know you are. I just finished cleaning. What a fucking asshole. I'm angry, Froghead. I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... After what? I'm really sorry, Big B. How could you see with that hair in your fucking face? Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know, I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here, but then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. He said he'd make sure I got fired. He was lying. I didn't send him here. You did the right thing. Okay. Good. Oh, I'm gonna get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told yeah. me to get lost. He the twins right. offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. 
I come in and clean up, they're usually pretty nice, understanding. There's no way they'll be okay with this, though. That's not really my problem. Right. I, I know. Sorry. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh... Just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Can you do anything? Okay, I, I guess. You've done well, Frogcat. Take care of yourself, Fly. Fly you boy. too, Sheriff Bigby. The Trip Trap Bar, 1.15 a.m. Has this guy had any sleep yet? Is the wolf power that you can just stay up forever? <laughs> Due to bereavement. Hey. Oh, no. I could have knocked but I kicked instead. Hey, look, Woody. It's the sheriff. Well, come on in. Buddy. Forgive me for tearing your arm off. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Right? Sort of. I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Just what in the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. In fact, I'm in a good goddamn mood. So you should take advantage. With one arm, you should be pissed. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? What anyone says. Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, you don't know me too good. The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? You sure you don't know where Lily's things are? You should care about this, since it's important to the case. What did I tell you before? I'm sure I don't know. You should know. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. I don't know if she was okay, she was you a troll. You were fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. And you didn't exactly help things by charging in like that. Oh, yeah. Wait, what's that called? Uh, blaming the victim? Something? Holly and I were the ones that got shot. So did I. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Toast Unless of being buddies. One thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's We better work together as a unit. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not Times of the anybody. essence, Crane's getting then away. We'll, you know, help you out with your thing. Oh, 
Okay, guys, e easy now. We'll help you. I'm in my happy place right now, Wolf. Pump the brakes, will you? Sit down and have a drink on your own. Gren, Went up Doc there. said you needed a rest. How many times you Ooh. fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Oh, here we go again. <laughs> These two guys need to fight it out. <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. What news? This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her Ugh. behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must be! Evidence. Been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? Did our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. Shagging a troll, buddy. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was Snow, and <laughs> I didn't know nothing about that. No, sure but you. you knew Holly would flip out, and you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You didn't care. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat hairy ass. <laughs> that's what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. That's because he's want? done something he shouldn't have. When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. Why? Ren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. You're such a waste of fucking space. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Grandma won't remember any of it. Good. He was in his happy place and I ruined it. She's sleeping in her true evil form. She needs to have that glamour power. What if a human walked in and saw the terror? The confusion. Give her a slap. Holly. Double hole. <laughs> that you, Woody? No, it's Wolfman. <sighs> Woody? Can't you say that you? Yeah, sure. Woody, bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. Maybe. Maybe not. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. I don't know, Holly. 
I thought you were a friend. You can't trust any of these fables. You understand? I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. Just go back to sleep, Holly. Approach. This has been a slow paced investigation this episode so far, kinda dull. When's Lily's it? funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. Never mind. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. There, there. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. This whole thing, uh, it's just a job to him. He means nothing. Yeah, I think so too. But, you know... It's not like he's... He's what? A good man? Because he is a good man. Oh. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. It's gotta be. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Oh God! Pick Don't me leave me there. alone. Up, okay? Snow, what do you want? Oh, thank God! Tell me you found something. No. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, twelve eighty-four. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. You're welcome. <sighs> Thanks. Listen, we have to hurry. I'll meet you down there. No, please don't. Are you meeting me there? I don't want to hear about it this time, okay? We can't take any chances missing him. I didn't say anything. Good. Groovy music kicking in. 